this debate has been going on with President Obama and the Democrats trying to get mm -hmm. them on board. Yeah, this is a unique position for the president. He normally has full support of his party, and in this particular instance, he's really having to do a tough sell. He's on the phone. He's been having Oval Office meetings. He's been trying to get his Democrats in line to vote for this deal. Um, they're afraid, you know, like the AFL, CIO, the trade, you know, agreement, the union base groups, they're saying, you know what, this isn't going to be a good deal. We're going to see more jobs be exported overseas. And they're, they're citing NAFTA. And they're citing NAFTA as a reason, and President Obama is coming out and, and saying this is not going to be a NAFTA. While it's kind of hard to say that it's not going to be because a lot of the issues behind this are the, the and again, another secret deal, kind of we have a secret deal with sure. Iran going. This is what's concerning the labor groups out there saying we don't have enough control over it. And the president, again, is saying, yep, just trust me. And then you've got Mitch McConnell, who's the leader of the Republicans, who we know th for the first six years, his job was to get President Obama out of office. Yes. And now, now he's siding with now him Now he's siding issue. with him, saying that this is the best thing since the apple, you know, you know, apple pie. So it, it, it's, a, it's a very, very, it, it's a very... Um, Good deal if you're a business outside the country, um, and it's a little bit It's tougher, opening their, our doors to them. It is opening our doors to them, and I think that when you look at the trade deficits, last month we had a $31 billion trade deficit with China, and last month overall we had a $51, million, or $51 billion trade deficit with the world. And that means that we've got a lot to make up for, for them to buy U.S. Our products. money's going out, and we're not having the opportunity to sell yeah. to them. And, and I think, you know, kind of one of the takeaways from this, too, is that, you know, we've got a, you know, a future of kids that are graduating with pricey degrees, and they're not out there able to get jobs. And if we're going to be moving forward with trade, we need to ensure that we're getting our products exported outside the country, which isn't happening because we have higher costs in that labor market. And so most people in, say, Vietnam or one of the Pacific Rim countries, they're, they're not going to turn around and buy something more expensive from America because they're still up-and-comer nations. And well, we, we aren't able to manufacture it for the cost that they can. Exactly. So there's where, you know, we've got a lot of issues to work out. Uh, it's going to come up to the Senate to see if we can get that out of committee this week. They will try to vote on it. They want to get this done before the Memorial Day holiday. Who knows? We've got to... Uh, We've got a number of questions being asked, like I said, by the Democrats, and there are a few uh, Republicans, like Senator Jeff Sessions, who's arguing that this is just a bad deal for the American worker, and it's not going to lead to an increase, and we're going to see that gap between you know the one percent and the bottom nine just to continue grow. to grow. Now, if, if, that, if that's their point of view, what is the president saying to to? confirm to them that it's going to be a beneficial deal to We're America. not getting the particulars, and that's, I think, what's concerning. The Again, details. it's kind of like with the Iranian deal. We're doing this trust. It's, they're going to disarm. We're going to work with them. It's going to work out. But there have only been a handful of senators that have actually read the deal. And so we're not getting a lot of feedback. And I just think that people look to the Senate as being that deliberative branch of government. Okay. And, the, the, you know, they expect the Senate to take their time. And the fast track that they're trying to get this through is something they would do in the Congress, not in the Senate. So I think, what, you know, it'll be, uh, it'll be you know, a big, a big push this week to get this out. And it's really going to depend on the Democrats. So he, the president's got to get the Democrats on his side. And, we, and he doesn't have them yet. So. Thank you so much, All Kimberly. Right. And to read more from Kimberly's full report,